Welcome to Swatch Fest. Welcome, welcome. Sit down, kick back, put your feet up. If you've been working too hard again, stop that. Put your feet up. <laughs> Let's just hang out. Let's have some fun. Welcome. Welcome to Swatch Fest. I'm so glad that you're here. Thanks for coming and chilling and hanging out with me for a little bit today and giving us all as a community here on this channel some of your time. Let's have a little fun together. Let's talk about our weeks. Let's share in the comments section and let's just decompress from our week. So how was your week? Was it super crazy? Was it like putting out fires left and right? Was it kind of like, okay, getting used to school, getting used to this new schedule. I think I got this. Let me know, tell me down in the comment section. Don't forget to enter the giveaway down there as well if you would like to. So next week, next Saturday, will probably be another Swatch Fest and Chill. But definitely still enter today for the giveaway because the next time we have another one of these kind of Swatch Fests, where it's the more traditional format, I will still be pulling my giveaway winner from this week's comment. So still comment. So you guys, um, my week. Okay, we'll talk about my week, we always do. It was a pretty good, not too crazy week. So good in the terms of there weren't any really huge fires I had to put out. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and get in to talk about these polishes and I'll share with you some more about my week. I did have Tim home with me on Monday and Wednesday because he finally went to the doctor on Monday for a broken toe that he, has anybody ever broke a toe and not known why, like at all? He had no idea how he got this broken toe, but was just trying to be like, yeah, it's a broken toe, you know, what are you gonna do about it? And just go on with it. But it was just, you know, enough was enough. And <laughs> upon me nagging him for three to four weeks, he finally came to went to the doctor. And then a few days later, they wanted him back in to check on some more things. So it was really nice. I had him around a lot this week. We had a jolly time. And as far as, I mean, like the kids, settling into school. We're in that mode where people feel like things are getting settled. My kids have already been in three weeks of school. It feels crazy, but it's already been three weeks done. Picture day, when you're watching this, was yesterday. So, I mean, we're already fully into this school year. Um, you guys, let's watch. So the funny thing about this week the funny and wonderful thing is, I love all of these polishes, and I didn't necessarily pick an A-plus polish because I love them all. So we're gonna get started. I have a green polish for you, and then, like a dodo bird, um, I didn't actually pick a blue polish. I don't know what I was thinking. I definitely have purple on the brain, but I have two purples for you today. When I went to go pick the mainstream polish, like I told you guys last week, okay, I'll pick one mainstream polish since four of our polishes are already designated for next week. Um, I was like, I definitely was thinking, I need another purple. I don't know what, you know, but it was meant to be because it's fantastic. So let's go ahead and get started with this green. Today we're gonna be talking about KB Shimmer Olive or Twist, which is this beautiful green, like olive -y green, it's super gorgeous fall. It has um, super gorgeous fall color. <laughs> I just kind of left you hanging there on the end of that sentence with all these beautiful micro hollow um, flaky shreds in there, it's beautiful. And this is a one coater. There is so much packing a punch in each coat of this polish. I'm pretty sure it's still on their website. They have, I feel like everything they ever released is on their website, not really, but um, I'm sure you can find this there if you like it. So this is Olive or Twist, let's watch it. Polish up is the first of the two polish pickup polishes that we're going to look at today. So always the Swatch Fest before Polish Pickup Weekend, which is the first Friday through Monday of every month, 
we talk about polish pickup and so that falls on this weekend so welcome to some polish pickup talk we're going to talk about one now and then at the very end of today's video so if you don't know really quickly polish pickup is a place where you can do some one-stop shopping for exclusive indie polish maker polishes it always has a theme um, the website is right here and it will be in the description bar below as well. So when you're watching this video, these two polishes we're talking about aren't currently available. They will be available next Friday through Monday. So I believe it's the 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, 7th through 10th. You can get these two polishes and that's the only time you can get them. So if you like them or anything else, polish pickup, You've probably seen it all over Instagram with your favorite swatchers are swatching Polish Pickup and, and especially if you follow the group or if you're in the Facebook group. You should be hopefully well aware of lots of the polishes coming up next weekend. Um, if you like any of them, the only time to get them is those four days. So be there or be square. Okay, so for September, the theme is horror films. For October, the theme is villains. September, we're doing horror films. So, um, when it came time for me to choose a polish for this month, it was a little tricky. I have to say, I've watched way more thriller films than horror films. The film that I went ahead and picked is called The Night of the Hunter, and basically, this is a black and white film starring Robert Mitchum, and he plays this preacher guy who gets out of jail, infiltrates his way into the family of his cellmate who he knows has stashed $10,000 somewhere. And then he goes in hounding the kids, hounding the kids, where's his money, where's his money? The way that this man chases these two children, the girl is probably four or five and the boy is probably seven or eight. A lot of the times he's like coming to try to find them at night and it's just very dark and when you're a kid you're afraid of the dark a lot of the time so it just really <laughs> this movie just really creeped me out one of the things about this character that is super creepy is that you know since he's pretending to be this preacher man um he always sings this song and it's it's called leaning leaning on the everlasting lord i think i don't personally know the song but it's in the movie a lot and it's i think it's supposed to be like a old standard kind of church hymn or something. And so he's always singing it as he's stalking after these kids and that just like made it even more creepy. He's just messed up dude. So <laughs> I named the polish Leaning. That is the name of my September polish pickup because that was one of the parts of the film that was, um, that just kind of affected me the most. So the main colors that you're seeing in this polish are kind of like this muddy bronzy gold and then this bright fuchsia to indigo shade. And let me just go ahead and tell you why the polish is throwing between those two colors. So basically I wanted it to look kind of muddy and earthy and that's supposed to represent this horrible character, the preacher guy. What is his name even? I always forget his name because I just always call him the preacher guy. Um, and then I wanted these bright pops of indigo and fuchsia and then the brighter parts of the gold to represent John and Pearl and those are the two little kids that you just you're always just like just get away from him just get away and you just want them to find safety the whole time but I really wanted you to be able to see both things very well in this polish but still have it be kind of murky and muddy because it is a thriller slash horror film so that's why I decided to create the polish looking the way it is. So the shiftiness in this polish comes about because of two different multi-chrome pigments that I combined. The pigments, one of them is like a, an indigo to fuchsia to gold, and then the other one is a mauve to red to copper to gold. So I put those together and it made this really cool, just kind of dirty multi-chrome with this bright pop of gold and a bright pop of fuchsia and I absolutely love it. I helped make it a little bit more muddy by adding this beautiful like um, muddy orange red cream base. I also added ultra chrome flakies in here to give it even more pop, more shimmer and those flakies are going between red to copper to orange to gold. So because I put all the flakies in there, I didn't want this to be too opaque too fast or else it's just going to kind of cover it all up. I'm going to go ahead and swatch this for you at three coats so that you can see how it builds up. I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Let's go ahead and swatch it now and don't forget if you like it, 
It will never be on my website. It's only going to be at the Polish Pickup website next Friday, the 7th of September to the 10th. talked a really really long time about polish pickup so I'm just gonna go ahead and roll right into the next shade this is my second purple for you because I totally spazzed out when I was picking this shade but it's good how many times have I told you guys that Kiko $1 Kiko polishes are so fantastic today we're looking at another one this is a dusty kind of eggplant mauve eggplant from Kiko this is the number 379 um, I did two coats. They're not like all one coaters or anything like that, but I don't need that. Um, I'm perfectly fine with a two coat cream. It's a beautiful formulation, a beautiful color, so I totally loved it. Putting me in the fall mood, so definitely enjoyed this. Let's swatch it. much to say about makeup today because I did a no makeup day. Can you guys tell? <laughs> I have just been go, go, go today. I have my, well, they're running slash walking. I don't do that much running. Sometimes I do jogging. I have a channel on YouTube where, well, I don't have the channel. I have a channel that I really like. Her name is Paula. I've told you guys about her channel before and she does an indoor running series and it's fantastic. So when I'm having a day where I feel like I really need a good jog, I can just jog and it's so um, motivating. I've talked about this before to jog, like watching somebody else jog with you. For me, it's super motivating for some reason. Anyway, I still have my walk slash running shoes on because I woke up today and I was like, I gotta get so much done. I spent a lot of my day in the DMV yesterday <laughs> getting my license renewed, so I didn't get hardly anything done yesterday. So I mean business today, I've got my sh walking slash running slash not really running shoes on, and that means I'm gonna take care of business. Um, but I've just kind of been like, go, go, go. My cheeks have been this bright tomato red all day. So I didn't really feel like, I didn't really feel like doing makeup today. I do have eyebrow product in my brows, to be fair, because I just, uh, you know, they really help with the expression of my face since I don't have much of a brow. And then on my lips today, I did slap this on really quick before filming. I thought that this was gonna be more just like a really, mm, this wasn't as simple of a gloss as I thought it was, is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's more like a gloss paint. Like it has more pigment than I thought it was gonna have. There, I'll just show you. See how pigmented that is? So, anyway, it is really nice. This is the shade Joe from e.l.f. And I do like it if I'm looking for a peachy gloss, but it's not as low maintenance as like another kind of gloss would be if it didn't like give me that much coverage, see? Cause then you have to kind of worry if it's gonna get outside of your lips. Here I am, the lipstick pro, and I'm putting lipstick on just using my viewfinder. Good job, Phoebes. Anyway, so that's what's on my face and nothing else because I just felt like a super low-key day with you guys today. I am wearing one of my 500 gray t-shirts that I have, 
and just kind of kick them back and relax with you guys. So I hope that's cool with you. Let's move along to our next polish. So I have this polish from Polish. This is the Polish <laughs> Cozy Blankets from Polish Pickup. How many times can we say polish in one sentence? This is a polish channel after all. This is the fan favorite gray kind of crelly cream that is full of iridescent flakies. It's like a beautiful rainbow of flakies um, and holographic flakies and it came back for the fan favorite month which was July and I picked it up during that month and it's great. I did three coats on this to just make sure I was getting absolute coverage. Two coats was pretty, you know, it was pretty good. I could have left it there but I wanted to just build it up just a little bit more and making sure I wasn't having any patchiness and it is just as beautiful as everyone said it was and it feels kind of appropriate that I'm talking about it right now because I feel like it came out this time last year or very nearly. I think this was their fall, whenever they did the, the September. September was the fall, like the, I don't remember what the name of the theme was, but I remember October was um, like villains or something, right? Or monsters, because that's when I did that first Illidan polish. Anyway, um, yeah, <laughs> let's watch it. I'm going to do three coats. So let's go ahead and move on to the last polish. This one, like I said, is another polish pickup and it is the one that I've been wearing today. If you've been able to figure out what I'm wearing, probably doesn't really look like I'm wearing too much of anything, but that's because this is a clear to color thermal, again, from Colorista Carol. And you guys, this one is so, so good. If you liked the Chun-Li inspired lightning legs that was in the gaming, um, the gaming month for polish pickup, which I know you guys did like that because that was one of the top sellers of the month. Then you're gonna really, really like this because this is a black to clear, which is so versatile. It means you can wear this just really over almost anything and you're gonna love it for fall, you guys. So this month coming up is, um, like I said, horror movies. And so this polish is um, inspired by Nosferatu, which is, I believe, like the original vampire film. And it's called Don't Look Behind You. And so this polish is a black to clear, but it has this beautiful um, red to gold Aurora pigment running all through the base. So even when it is black, it doesn't look just like straight up black. It has this beautiful rosy red. Well, for me, I mostly see that color, but you can definitely see the shift as well. But when I kept looking, I'd be like, oh. Look at that beautiful, like bright pop of rosy red on this polish. It's so gorgeous. It also has iridescent glitters in there in um, squares and hexes. And it's just so pretty, you guys. So yeah, let's take a look at it. So don't forget, if you guys want that polish, you need to be there next Friday at Polish Pickup. Um, 
Okay, so basically, what else do we need to cover? Videos coming up. I hope you guys checked out my videos that I put up this last week. We talked about the Chloris de Carol Fall Collection. We talked about the Night Owl Lacquer Pluviophile Collection, which went live yesterday. I hope you checked out that video. Both of those videos are two gorgeous indie polish collections for fall. We also had a D-Stash video that went up, which means I have one more, one more segment of that D-Stash before I load everything into my store MV. I know, you guys have been waiting for that a really long time. Maybe I won't wait and do four whole videos next time. It's just, um, there was a lot of polish out of those two Helmers, so uh, maybe I'll just do one Helmer next time. I don't know, but um, so we have that left coming up. I do have the SE Soda Pop Shop collection coming up. I have a collection to share with you. Iridescent Shifty Toppers from OPI. Let me look this up and make sure that I tell you the right name of it because I don't want to misrepresent. But they should be to me um, today, actually. When you're watching this, they should be getting to me, which means that I can share them with you very soon. Here we go. Okay. It is called the Metamorphosis Collection. Um, I'll pop a little picture in for you right here so you can see what I'm talking about. So these are toppers. Um, it looks like, like pretty typically with iridescent toppers. If you wear these over black, the effects are going to be, you know, really e a lot easier to see. Um, but it's saying you can wear them over anything. Um, and they have a variety of different effects. So I'm really excited to see what these are all about and see what kind of... If there's glitters in there, it looks like there's glitters in there with iridescent shifty things, so I'm really, really excited for that. We do have a new Moonshine Manny collection coming up, but not yet. You guys know it's always the second Friday of the month. I haven't talked a ton about it yet. Did I share colors with you guys in the Swatch Fest and Chill? I definitely will next weekend. I'll show you guys each of the polished colors in our live Swatch Fest next, next Saturday, 12 p.m., Pacific Standard Time. But my September collection is called Bite Me. And it is inspired by vampires from different films and TV. So who are your favorite vampires? Who are you hoping to see in this collection? So yes, I have that coming up to share with you guys very soon too. That's a six piece collection and it launches on September 14th. And so I'm very excited to start getting things spooky around here. So uh, yes, we have that coming up too. I have not spotted those simple colors mattes. If anybody is wondering why I haven't reviewed those for you yet, I just haven't found them in any of my stores. So that's why we haven't looked at that yet. I know the Essie collection, the Essie fall collection is out some places. I haven't found that one yet either. So things are coming. We need to pick a winner for this week's Swatch Fest too. So let me pull up last week's Swatch Fest. Okay, my random number generator tells me that I have a winner. Um, winner, you have a very tricky last name. I'm sure you hear that every single day. I'm going to try my best at it. My winner for this week is Christine Leschewitz. That's my best try. I know I'm not great at pronouncing you guys' names, but Christine, you should know who you are. <laughs> Please send me an email to my email listed in the description below and let me know that you heard that you're my winner and we'll talk about where I can send your winning polishes. I think we finally reached the end of Swatch Fest, you guys. I know I was very chatty today, often on Swatch Fest and very chatty with you guys. I'm just so excited to just sit down and hang out with you, hang out with my people. So you guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for being an absolutely fantastic community. Thanks you guys for your love and support over the years and our kind loving comments to each other in the comments section. I just want to say a huge thanks to all of you for being so awesome, so sweet, supportive, and friendly and kind. So anyway, you guys, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your weekend. Enjoy it. Do something fun. Do something relaxing. I will see you back for the next video. Take care until then.